Solving by using the chain rule. The chain rule states that we need to find the derivative of the outside function by keeping the inside function the same multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. So question 36. g of t equals 4t squared minus 3t plus 2 to the power of negative 2. The first thing we will do is that we will multiply the bracket by negative 2. So g of t prime equals negative 2 4t squared minus 3t plus 2. And then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So it will be to the power of negative 3. And according to the chain rule, we need to multiply it by the derivative of the inside function, which is 4t squared minus 3t plus 2. So now we will find the derivative of 4t squared minus 3t plus 2. The derivative of 2 will be 0, so we will just cancel it. And now we will find the derivative of 4t squared. 2 times 4 is 8, so 8t. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we will just not write it. Minus 3. And now we will close the bracket. And since we have two numbers inside the bracket, we can't simplify it any farther. So this will be your final answer.